and you have this moment of weakness and you are feeling tempted to fall back into old patterns, pick up things you know you shouldn't pick up, to go to the world for comforts that you don't need. Sometimes you get a word and your spirit pumps you up. That's the way it is for me. I've got hot bread to share today and I know it's for someone. It's a warning of sorts, but it's also an encouragement. So we're actually going to be talking about Hebrews 12 and the chapter is actually titled The Race of Faith. And I'm going to try to make it as concise as possible, but I believe this is speaking to people in a season of waiting, a season of trial, a season of things feeling heavy and difficult. And the Lord has given you a promise. He's spoken something to you and you're waiting for it to come to pass and you're watching and you have this moment of weakness and you are feeling tempted to fall back into old patterns, pick up things you know you shouldn't pick up, to go to the world for comforts that you don't need because you've already received the Holy Spirit. You have everything you need in Christ Jesus. You don't need anything else. And the weight is becoming difficult. I just want to read it to you. It's Hebrews 12, 12. Therefore, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather heal. Pursue peace with all people and holy without which no one will see the Lord, looking carefully lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by this many become defiled. And now this is verse 16 that really stuck out to me. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person, other translations say ungodly person, like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. For you know that afterward, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected for he found no place for repentance though he sought it diligently with tears. So this is a picture. This is what the Lord has been putting on my spirit. When you are in these seasons of waiting and trial, when your hands are hanging, your knees are feeble, and you're exhausted, waiting, hoping, there is temptation that can come, especially when you think you're right on the brink of not being able to take anymore. Just wait. Do not touch the stew. Don't take it. Don't be like Esau. You can wait. Strengthen yourself in the Lord. Resist the devil. Do not take the bait. We see in scripture that Jacob had prepared this stew and bread and Esau comes in from the wilderness and he's hungry. He thinks he's going to die if he doesn't eat. And so Jacob gets him to sell him his birthright and he gives up his birthright, his inheritance for one meal. We can see that in those actions, he obviously didn't believe that what he had done was going to have true and lasting consequences because he then went to his father and expected a blessing. He cooked the game. He came before his father and asked for a blessing only to find that his brother had already gotten his blessing. And he asked his father, don't you have a blessing for me? Not verbatim, but essentially he doesn't get the blessing and he weeps bitterly. We read it in scripture in verse 12, 17, for you know that afterward when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected for he found no place for repentance, though he sought it diligently with tears. There are consequences to our actions as well. And that's the risk in taking the stew, taking that soup, stepping into that temptation. Don't touch it. Don't fall into the temptation. There are consequences to things that we do. And we see Esau had real consequences. Even if he still was walking it out like he wasn't going to see the consequences, there are consequences. The Lord is a good father. He's given us laws to walk by and live by morally to keep us from falling to keep us from getting harmed, to keep us from getting hurt. He is such a caring father. The same way you would set rules for your toddler. No, you're not allowed to go in the road. This is where you stop. God's doing the same thing for us. And if we're going to, in these moments of weakness, decide that we just can't make it and we're going to give in and take the stew, give up this spiritual blessing for one meal, we're not. It's really interesting too, because I kind of see it as a picture of our time here on earth. We have been given this inheritance through Christ Jesus. Every human made in God's image has the opportunity to look to Christ Jesus for everything he did to be forgiven, to be cleansed, and to follow him. 
every human has that available to him. Yet many will continue to suppress the truth and unrighteousness just to eat their stew, just to live how they want to live, to do what they want to do, to not follow Christ because the blessing seems far off or, well, we can't really know and all the excuses that come, but we know. And for those of you waiting on a blessing, it's not worth it. Just wait. Pray, strengthen yourself in the Lord. When the devil's trying to come at you with all of his nonsense, all of his lies, all of his tricks, your flesh is trying to get you running every which way, you need to battle back with scripture. Pick up your sword. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Do not grow weary of doing good. In due season, you will reap the reward from that. Just hold on. Just keep going. Just keep pushing. Just keep waiting. You could be moments away from the blessing. But even if you're not, trust in the Lord. He's good. He knows the plans that he has for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to work all things to your good. Don't lose heart. Keep going. It's not worth it. Don't touch the soup. Don't touch it. Back up. I just pray that whoever this is for, it blesses them, that it encourages you to keep going. God's got you. There's nothing about you that he doesn't know. There's nothing that's going to surprise him. Hold on. You've got this. Back away from the soup. Father, we just thank you so much for this time together. I pray, Lord, that you would strengthen your people. Strengthen us. Let us not grow weary of doing good. Let us not fall into the temptation of giving up when the weight is hard, giving up when we've been disciplined or when we're struggling, but to keep going, to continue the race. I pray you would bless us and protect us from these schemes of the enemy that we wouldn't fall for them, Lord, and that you would just... Fill us with your peace and joy in the wait. Let us come to you. Let us hang out with our perfect comforter who the world is no match. Every need that we have can be found in you. We thank you that you're such a good provider. Bless all those listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. See you next time.